When I was first selected as a candidate, I went round the constituency asking voters what changes they want to see in our area. And lots of people told me how hard it is to get around by public transport. Um, and older people told me it can take a whole day to get to and from a 20 minute hospital appointment um, because connections are so poor. Now there are lots of great things about living in our area, but um, public transport is not one of them. Rural bus services are few and far between, um, train services are bad, the rolling stock is old. Um, towns of considerable size like Chapel Town and Stocksbridge can feel cut off because it takes so long to get by bus to Sheffield um, and evening services are really patchy. So that's why I'm making public transport my number one priority and why I'm working with local groups to improve bus services and reinstate a passenger train line from Stocksbridge to Sheffield. Public transport is not just about getting people from A to B. It's about making our communities sustainable places to live and work for people of all ages. It shouldn't be the case that you have to own a car to get to school or work or the shops or hospitals. Public transport connects young people with education and training. It connects workers with well-paid jobs in other towns and cities. It brings people together and crucially, it gets people out of their cars. So I'm really pleased that the government has committed £25 million for Stocksbridge, much of which can be used for infrastructure, £220 million for buses across the UK and a really ambitious Northern Powerhouse rail project. So if I'm elected as your MP on the 12th of December, I will work really hard to improve public transport in our area so that people in towns and villages like Penistone and Stocksbridge, Doddeth, Chapel Town, Ecclesfield and our more rural areas can have a great place to live and work for generations to come.